Hi, my name is Linda. I'm an art educator at the Nasher Sculpture Center. Do you dream at night? Spanish artist Juan Miro said he was inspired by dreams and created this work called Moonbird. It was initially made in 1946, cast in bronze, and enlarged to this size 20 years later. As you look at this sculpture, do you see his inspiration of the night, the moon? How many can you see and count? As this sculpture's name Moonbird implies, Miro has captured the moon in its many forms. Crescent moons for its tail, wings, and head, a half moon for its torso, and full moons in rounded orbits for its eyes. The crescent moon-shaped plumage that tops Moonbird's head could be interpreted as bullhorns, a symbol of his homeland of Spain. Miro created hybrid characters like Moonbird by combining elements from the earth and sky to create whimsical, abstract beings. He loved the childlike nature of the creatures he created. Miro's ideas were not limited by logic. They followed the ideas that the surrealist movement was expressing. Art that tapped into people's subconscious thoughts, memories, and dreams. The subjects of many of his works were things associated with the night and imaginary hybrid creatures he dreamed up. Now here's something for you to try. On a sheet of paper, doodle some things you see in the sky at night. Perhaps a constellation with stars and planets, the moon or clouds. Now draw animals that roam or fly at night. How can you combine the curved and straight line elements of these two things to make a hybrid being? After you've created your character, decide what color or pattern of colors and shapes its body and features will have. Think about where your animal would live and draw your creature in its habitat. What will you call your hybrid? After you've finished, share your unique creation with your family. You can find additional images and resources related to this artwork in the description of this video. See you at the next artwork!